Hi guys, it's Smart Girl Yanni. Welcome here to OFS Smart Repair. Uh, it's me and Smart Guy Gaisi. Do you can Charged see? Charged up Gaisi for today. Charged up for today and we have a very, very, very cool, very exciting to re review to do for you. Uh, Gaisi, if you can just move to that side. I want to show our lovely followers this incredible, incredible car that Jaguar just launched and we are going to have a chat about today. And uh, yeah, so let's hear what smart guy Gacy has to say. So Gacy, what have we got here today? Yoni, we've got the new Jaguar I-Pace EV, 400 all-wheel drive. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> what is an EV, Gaisi? EV stands for electrical vehicle, Yanni. So uh, that's the new call sign for all electric vehicles. Something you'll have to get used to because more of these type of vehicles will be launched during the next few years as electric vehicles try to take over natural combustion, uh, the natural combustion engine market. Okay, but Gaisi, is this car fully, fully electrical? This specific vehicle, Yanni, the Jaguar I-Pace, is 100% electrical. So there's no other energy source except for the battery that powers this vehicle. Okay. Um, Alright, but why is this, I mean, electrical cars that have been launched, we know from Tesla, what, what's making this car such an incredible car? Or why are you so excited about this car? Well, Jaguar um, invested a lot of money in, over the past few years into electrical vehicles after they've seen the success that Tesla had mm -hmm. and uh, they as usually just went a step beyond and what they've launched here is truly remarkable it's uh, the electric vehicle with the longest range currently available it's the quickest one currently available not 200 top speed yeah. and also if you take all the additionals that this vehicle comes with it's it's incredible it's got line assist spark distance control fully automatic climate control um, uh, a great sound system anything you want in your normal vehicle the i has already got in and we'll see when we go into the inside it truly is different from what tesla currently offers the luxury and quality of your uh, jaguar ev is something different also keep in mind that the ev or the i from jack is a suv so it's a four-wheel drive yeah. It's got a weight depth of 500 millimeters, meaning you can drive into water at about 500 millimeters without uh, having any damage or leakage in your car. And also, if you look at the riding height, just to put it in comparison, this car's riding height is similar to a Vogue or, or a Toyota Fortuner, which is quite high. What? What do you mean similar to a Toyota Fortuner? What do you mean by that? Hold on, let me just move. We, we're not, the light is not working for you right now, okay? So. <laughs> Yes. Yanni. Yeah. So the road height, the height that the car clears the oh, road. Oh, the road. No, you're lying. Is this the same as a Fortuner? It's actually four millimeters higher. No. Okay. So All right. It's, so uh, perfect you... for South African conditions, considering our roads, and a lot of people do travel on gravel roads. But Casey, you spoke about range. So how far can you drive with this car if you've charged it? Uh, they, they've got two charges available, so if you drive it normally with using your aircon and your radio and your sat nav and all the luxuries you have, you'll be able to get about 420 kilometers out of it. Yeah. If you ride in your, in your e-safe mode, so that's when your aircon will be on econo mode and you won't, need all, you won't use all the energy that you've got available, you will be able to do about 475 kilometers, which is uh, okay. from here to Pretoria. From here to Pretoria without a charge okay all right so what do you think i think you should start it so that we can hear what it sounds like um there and then we can take a drive we can okay just so, a fun fact for you yeah it's gonna cost you 160 rand what for to what? fill up your charge so if it's empty empty and you put it into a charger at home which will take six to seven hours yeah it's gonna cost you 160 bucks and then you're off again listen that is incredible uh, we're going to ask Casey to start the car uh, in a little bit so that you can hear what does an electric car sound like when it starts. Before that, let me 
me show you the, the interesting bit about an electric vehicle. Yeah. So if you get home and you need a charge and the car is empty, you simply take out the charging cord, which almost looks like a cell phone charger, just a bit bigger. Yes. You put it into your normal plug. You tap it into the side where your fuel filler should have been. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just follow you. This guy's here. So excited, he's all over the place. <laughs> Let's hear, yeah? So you only basically a plug it into the car and then you plug it into your normal plug at home. The power plug in, in the garage or wherever. Yeah. With a lead and then uh, you charge your car overnight. It's like a cell phone, actually. You don't uh, have to drive the car till it's empty. If you, if there's like 50% left or 70% left, you can still charge it to get it back to 100%. That is very interesting. Very interesting. Tracy, let's start it. Let's start it. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on, let me show, show me what the key looks like. Well, the key looks like a normal Jaguar key. Do you know where the key is? No, it's in my hand. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, yeah. It's got open, close, open boot or open bonnet. Let's turn it around. And of course... It's nice and slick design, eh? Yes. And oh. it's keyless. So you just put the key in your pocket, and then when you're near the vehicle, it'll open or close whatever you, you need. So... Uh, okay, but I'm going to stand outside, and then you can start it, and then we can take a drive. Let's hear. So what I will do, Yanni, so that you can hear me... Yeah. Um, there's no, of course, ignition or start your engine. It's basically a power button. Yeah. So I'm going to press it on and then the vehicle is uh, on. Okay, hold on. Before you start, let me just show what the power button looks like. Where's that? My finger is going there. <laughs> you see it? Yeah. yeah. And on we go. No man, is, it, is the car on? Uh, just move. I've started my car. Okay. I'm leaving. So now all, all I need to do is put it in drive or reverse. Right. So it's on. <gasps> Guys, there's no sound. Okay, hold on, let's take a test drive. So that is a car without sound. We need to take this guy for a test drive and see what the performance is like. Because I hear that this Jaguar packs a mean punch so let's check it out okay Heisy, so is the car on now the car's on so if we're in a normal car the car will be would be idling of course this is electric so basically if you use the accelerator now the car will move forward or backwards uh, depending on what you want okay let's go okay so i've already engaged and drive mm -hmm. Another fun fact about an EV vehicle, it's got, or this specific one, is it has got no gears or gearbox. So it's only one drivetrain, full power from zero to top speed, only one gear. Wow. Okay, let's see. Can you guys hear? I'm actually um, not putting any music with this part of the video because I want you guys to hear what this sounds like because it sounds like complete silence uh, while you're on the radio fact Johnny mm -hmm. what you can if you want if it's too silent to your liking yeah there's a setting in this vehicle where you can mimic engine noise so if we accelerate the engine will make an, there will be an engine noise coming through the speaker that is very have you got your seatbelt on because this car is quite quick. I've got my seatbelt on. Okay, so we are in the street now behind IFS. Let's feel. Wow. <laughs> That's 100 kilometers now. What? Yes. How many seconds was that? Oh, basically just 4.2, 4.3 oh. seconds. Listen, that is insane. Okay, hold on. We're gonna talk interior now. That was insane. Guys, this car has got so much power. It nearly gave me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> the acceleration is insane, Casey. How does that work? It's 
because there's only one gear so it's like an electric motor just accelerating till it, till it reaches its uh, point of no return basically um, but you know what i mean just the power is direct so there's no drive train there's no gears losing power it's the, the power is direct onto the wheels it's crazy yeah it is crazy it, and it's um it's so 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 much fun and all um, you can currently hear is the aircon. That is the loudest noise inside here. Yeah. Inside the car. Okay, all right. So let's talk interior. Okay, guys. So what are some of the very cool features of the interior in the Jag? Yeah, only for me, the design. Very sleek, very niche, very upmarket. A lot of uh, iPad feel, if you, if you like. Uh, a very big display here for your radio and your climate control and your media and your phone options. Um, show, show us the, the speedo, I know that's very interesting. Alright, if I, if I take the phone out, this is the speedo. Yeah. So, on the top center you'll see a gauge which is blue. If I accelerate, it says power. And if I decelerate, it goes to charge. Or when I brake, it goes to charge. Meaning that whenever you decelerate or brake this vehicle, it charges your battery. That's uh, incredible. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, more efficient, obviously. Yeah. And that's one thing about electric vehicles. Uh, while you use power when you accelerate, you also have the ability to recharge somewhat of the power when you brake or decelerate, which is very cool. Okay, so let's, um, you've got, of course, the Jaguar, beautiful Jaguar. Features. Okay, look, at, look at your, the, the suede and the suede in the roof lining and of course the incredible glass roof that, that this vehicle's got. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but just look at that. That's such cool design features. Look at the trims on the interior. The car's also quite big. It's a lot of uh, leg space at yeah, the Yeah, a lot of leg room, hey? And um, I think the thing for me is I love good design. And Jaguar certainly is one of those brands that are just known for giving you that absolute luxury feel. Just look at uh, the screens. It's fully digital, hey? Uh, it's fully digital, fully touch screen. Oh, okay, yeah, of course. Very, very nice. Very, very cool. Just look at the steering wheel again. Funky. Nice leather, nice stitching, nice smell. Uh, New core smell. <laughs> yeah, new car smell, but I think ja Jaguar is really up the ante here. They've really designed a proper car that gives you that ultimate luxury feel. Yeah. Uh, and I think that was important, especially for launching an EV vehicle in the country, in Africa, and, and for that matter in South Africa, you need to get it right. And I think they got it spot on. Yeah. So guys, driving around in the I Pace, uh, we're actually very, very, very excited to. Um, announce you know it is quiet but we're excited yeah. to announce some big news for you regarding the the ipace and actually why we're making a video on the ipace so Heisi, what's the news well the big news is uh, jaguar decided to only appoint three repair centers in the country one of course will be in johannesburg one in cape town and uh, the third one will be in bluefontein and it will be ofa smart repair the Jaguar is of course fully aluminium, it's got a 600 kilogram battery underneath us, we're sitting on it, that uh, also helps for the center of gravity on this vehicle. Uh, aluminium of course helps for keeping it light and that's also why uh, the I-Pace is currently so successful, it's much lighter than any of its competitors, it's got a longer range, you felt the acceleration oh, that was and uh, we can't wait. Uh, for one of these babies to come into our shop and uh, well even if it's just for polish also um, there will be a few just to keep in mind there will be a few rapid charging stations around the country at certain malls and gas stations yeah and well, repair centers because that's going to be a, a question that everybody wants to ask okay it's where can you charge this car? well if you don't charge it at home you can use a rapid charge station uh, and what that enables you is to, for every 20 minutes you get 100 kilometers or for an hour 270 kilometers. So you can basically, if the car is fully empty, recharge it completely to its full uh, range capacity in two hours at a rapid station. Yeah, so there you have it guys. That is 
very cool and exciting news. Um, we are going to be one of only three, three repair centers in the entire country that can repair this incredible car, the I-PACE. So yeah, great innovation. That's what we believe in. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing these incredible cars on the road. So say bye. Bye-bye from Evie Charge Station. <laughs>